Welcome! I'm Monia Gates. I'm the artist behind Color My Dreams. So nice to see so many of you here. So today I will be coloring the turtle of um, my guardian's Color My Dreams guardian page set. The page is called Natalie, the turtle guardian. Hi mom. Hello everyone. So this turtle um, and th the reference photo is from Wildlife Reference Photos for Artists. Um, the uh, website address is in the description if you're interested in getting some um, of your own images. They've got brilliant images on Wildlife. I'm just zooming a bit out. Okay, so basically I played and enhanced a little bit of the colors from the photograph. So um, the photograph, they were, it, it's clear, but I've enhanced it so that it can uh, suit the water that I'm going to do in the background in the next stream. So first of all, uh, a turtle has a hard shell and then it's, uh, they've got a, a body that is really wrinkly and has lovely texture. So to do all these textures, I'm going to show you tonight. And then also on the little, I think you call it arms, the colors that plays on them and then the texture that they have and we will do all uh, we'll see how far we get tonight otherwise there will be a part two but I'll be, we'll be coloring the whole page in the public streams so you can at least finish uh, uh, the whole page and not have a whip So instead of doing our normal giveaway that's a lucky a number generator one, hello Loretta, welcome. Hi Janine. Hi Chantal. Hi Rina. Hi all the other patrons. Welcome. Hi Sherry. Pam. Sorry if I missed anybody. So let's do that Irina in the public stream. See who will guess it right. So, I want you to guess how many pencils I will be using for this turtle tonight. And in the public stream, you will win a pa any page from my Etsy store. I'm just going to zoom a little bit more out so we can start.
Okay, so let's start. Hi, Sunet. Hi, Helen. Hi, Kim. Hi, Sherry. No problem. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to start with the head. So, I'm going to start by adding the darks in the head first. So, my first color, oh, let me just make a space. So many pencils here. Hello, Renee. Okay, first pencil is Espresso PC1099. And please feel free to ask any questions as we go along. If you have any. Uh, make sure your tips are sharp of your pencils because there is quite fine detail on this one. Thank you, Kim. You'll see me turning the pencil the whole time, but that is to try and keep the tip as sharp as possible for a long period of time so that I don't sharpen them all the time. You can guess now, Sherry. So I'm adding in most of the mid-tone shadows at the moment. So in these darker shapes, I'm shading the one side because the texture to me looks like it's got a slight bump. Next is black. Hello, Nana. Welcome. Next is black, PC935. Super 
so turtles have nice eyes so I'm doing the pupil then shade below the lid so that the eye will look like it's inside the socket and then darken the corner of the eye and then the nostrils below the lip or the beak I don't know what you call it Oh, awesome, Nana. Thank you so much. In this corner. As you can see, I'm leaving the little light lines open in between. We'll cover them with different colors just now. And then in the very corner of the eye towards the back. Yes, Kim, I drew this image with pencil. It's available from my Etsy shop if you would like to color along next is goldenrod a uh, pc1034 Hi Rain, hi Greeny, hi Barbara, welcome. Next is dark brown, oh dark umber, yeah dark umber PC 947. Yes, you must guess how many pencils I will be doing or using for tonight. And now for those that came late, the image looks like this. So there's more than four colors, definitely.
Yes, Kim, it's in the description. Um, there is bias to to um, the where you can find my work and follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon. And um, I will list all the pencils that I use tonight in the description just straight after the stream. And if you like the tutorials, you can subscribe and see tutorials every week. And it's like this one. It's in real time, not fast forward. And you can ask questions if you have any. Yes, please don't hesitate to ask if you have any questions. Yes, it's only the pencils for the turtle for tonight that you need to guess. Next is Jasmine, PC1012. So now I'm adding a little bit of light here on around the eyes. So don't worry too much about it because we are still going to work on some more details. This is to form the base for the details. So now I'm covering some of the lighter lines. Next is white. PC935, I think. So now I'm adding white, but I'm not doing all the lines white so you do the white in just certain areas let me see if i can zoom you in while we're busy with the face part
Yes, it's 938 white. There we go. I'll zoom out when we do the other parts of the turtle. Okay, so I'm adding white here to the eye, to the nose, the section around a little spot on that side. Here in the corner. Now to get the light, because you will have light coming through, shining through the wave from this section and you'll have reflective light of the turquoise water at the bottom half. So to get the rays that will be coming through the wave on the top, we need to enhance the lights on the top. Now I'm drawing small little lines just to get the highlights of his little wrinkles here at the bottom of his mouth. Next is Light Aqua PC992. Now the light aqua, again, it will be from the light shining through the wave. So it will definitely be some uh, turquoises, some blues and some greens that will be reflective light onto the turtle. Next is Jasmine, PC1012. Okay, can you all hear me better now? This is Jasmine, PC1012. Janine, is this better? Next 
Next is Sienna Brown, PC945. Yes, they're endangered and they are beautiful. I love drawing and coloring them. So now, be, even though you have a light line, you shade it. So there's only white here in the corner of the eye. I'm shading it towards the back. Here yeah, I'm just adding a little bit of color so that it becomes more narrow here around the eye. Hi Kenny, welcome. No problem Janine. Yes, it is the uh, Fabiano clay toned paper. We still can't get any Strathmore here in South Africa. So it's my second choice of paper for now. Next is 70% French Grey, PC1074. Next is 50% French Grey, PC1072. And just lighten the eye. And the top. Next is light green, PC920. Next is Golden Rod again, PC1034. Now I'm drawing lines downward on this one.
next is wait where's my mineral orange PC one zero double three Now to get the texture at the bottom of his chin, yes Barbara, I'm going to do the whole picture in the live streams. So I will be completing the whole uh, page bit by bit. So to get the texture at the bottom of his chin part, I'm drawing a line down, you follow the line, and then cross like little blocks dark in the corner Next is sand PC nine forty. So just lighten that section. Is there anybody here tonight that's coloring with me? Thank you, Kenny. The reason why I'm asking is then I know how fast I can go or how slow. Next is light at Umba PC nine four one. Next is light green again, PC 920. Now some of the textures here will pick up the green, so you need to just carry on with the green onto them. Oh, that would be great, Kenny. I also love turtles. Irina. <laughs> Next is dark brown, PC 946.
Yes, why not, Sherry? That would be great. Get the rainbow turtle going. Again, while adding your colors here and your shading, remember to keep your texture Here on the lip, you keep the direction with your lines to keep the shape. Oops. Next is the light green again, PC920. Now I'm going slightly over that golden rod that we've done earlier just to get the color going again. Next is the golden rod, PC1034. Just broke the tip, just sharpening it quick. Oh, wonderful, Kenny. You must send uh, send me some photos so I can see. Keep your texture going by cross hatching. The next color is bronze PC1028. That's wonderful, Helen. You must also send me some photographs. I would love to see.
Next is Sandbar Brown. BC1094. Now this section I'm just darkening. and darkening the lines in between. Now this section of the neck, you've got more prominent downward lines and then you add the horizontal lines, but not all the way through. Next is brown Umba PC nine four seven. I'm adding a little bit of the darker lines in between. And darkening the line here in this section of the neck. <laughs> yes, Nana, I think we need to name it. I think it's a he. What should his name be? Hi Tammy, welcome, nice to see you here. Now carry on with your textures onto his little body part or shoulder spot.
Now I'm darkening this section here because it's almost like it has a little bit of a rich texture before the hard shell starts. So to get that definition of that's on top and his neck is going inside, you need to make a more prominent shadow in this section. Doing <laughs> Call him Malcolm. Snapper. Grumpy Graham. Oh, these are all brilliant names. Next is Goldenrod again, PC1034. Next is your light green again, BC920. So I'm extending the green here before his neck starts and carry this green from his lips onto his cheeks. Then I'm adding a little bit of green, going down to where the shell will start. and extend it here at the bottom next is light aqua PC 992 I'm adding a little bit of light aqua on the right hand side just a little next is yellow ochre BC 942 oh I need to just sharpen this one
Thank you, Helen. Next is Sienna Brown, PC945. And try not to lose the texture that the neck has. By just following the downward motion and then the horizontal. You know, you have to have a little bit of patience when colouring the turtles because of all the textures or you can just keep it plain but if you add in all the textures it creates a, a, a really amazing interest on the page itself so it's well worth it to add in all the all the details Thank you, Nana. Thank you, Sherry. So now this section here, I'm going to color it by just doing squiggles to create the texture there because it's not a prominent texture than here. And by squiggling your pencil, here you can see the folds, where this one, it's more like, or well, to me, it looks almost like a, a spongy, squishy, hard texture. Yes, Helen, you are quite right. It is very leathery skin and they do have lots of different textures and I think that is what's interesting to me and I love that about them. Next is Espresso again, PC1099. Just shape the eye a bit. And now I'm just extending the detail of these parts and making the white lines a little bit smaller. Now I'm carrying on with the shadow onto the neck.
carry on with the squiggle texture. Enhance some little dark spots for interest. And make this texture a little bit finer, it's a bit too prominent. Then carry it on here. So I'm first going to add a light color on this leathery part here before I can do the shell. So the colour I'm going to use for to add the lights on this is jasmine. So the reason why we're not adding green or, or the aqua here at the moment is because the shell is above it. So this section here, the shell will catch mo most of the lights. So and this part of the head will still have light colour. So I'm adding in my light. And then on the shell. I'm getting some of the lights that will catch here onto the skin, the leathery, bumpy skins. Next is the golden rod again. I just want to enhance the lines here of the face and highlight this section. Next I'm going to use grey green light. Is it better now, Sherry? Grey green light, PC289. Add a little bit of the light to the top section. Hello Leslie, welcome. So nice to see you here. Next is Sienna Brown, PC945 again.
Next is Espresso PC1099. So now this section here, we have the brown ending round about there, this similar brown section here. And now I'm just giving a little bit of shadow to this side before his little arm or paddle. I don't know, even know what to call it in English. Next is Sunburst Yellow, PC 917. So now to get a little bit of highlight on this section, because there will be some sunlight or some light catching that side. I've added a little bit of that. And next is white. Adding a little bit of white to this section. Okay, so now I'm moving over to the shell part. I'm going to start with brown umber PC947. First we start with the shadow. Yes, you need patience, Sherry. Oh, Barbara, sorry. To do the details. Unfortunately, when doing details, you need a lot of patience. Next is the espresso again, PC1099. Next is nectar, PC1092. This one is actually, was to me, fun to color because it's different textures the whole time. So you don't really get bored with doing the one thing the whole time. Next is Lime Peel, PC1005.
Now I'm just going to add a little bit of this green here and there. So it becomes a warmer color. So it brightens it and it gives it a little bit of green tinge. Hi Juxia, welcome. Okay, first I am going to use terracotta and just do the markings because I'm just scared I'm going to lose it. Uh, terracotta PC944. So I'm just drawing in my lines of my shell with a light hand just so that you don't lose your details. Oh, I'm so glad, Helen. Thank you for the kind words. Next is artichoke. Uh, PC1098. I think I've missed the one line. Terracotta PC944. There's the line. Hi. Gotcha. Welcome. Back to my artichoke PC1098. Next is Sunburst Yellow, PC 917.
Thank you, Jamie. Next is Light Aqua again, PC992. So now the aqua that we pick up on this side slightly will also shine on the shell. So you just need to add a little bit of it that you will see come into play. Hi Bertha, welcome! So nice to see you here. Oh, awesome Lizzie, I can't wait to see what you do. Uh, next is Sand PC 940. So I'm first just going to cover everything and then add more colors so that we keep the light, the brightness of the yellow so that it can shine through. So now we'll add more colors. Next is bronze, PC Next is Powder Blue, PC1087. So right on the edge here of this shape, I'm highlighting it. Then I'm also going to highlight this section here before we lose the highlights. Hi Zackle. Welcome. Next is the Light Umber PC941. Now I'm shading in the dark shadow that we've added into the multicolors at the top. Then also into the bottom section here. Then soften this shadow here. Oh, thank you, Bertha. I've gone for the matte black with a little bit of glitter, diamond glitter this time. 
Next is Espresso. A PC one zero nine nine, and just really darken the shadow on the side of the shell. Uh, next is Lime Peel, PC1005. Now, this image that I chose, it almost looked like a mossy green on the shell, where you do get these turtles with the most amazing shells that has patterns on it and everything. And I really love those. But for this particular one, we just keep it simple because we still have the lady in the background that will have a lot of attention to the hair that's underwater. Next is light green PC920. Next is yellowed orange, PC1002. Next is Lime Peel again, PC1005. Next is Green Ochre, PC1091. Now we're softening some of the colors that we've added. Adding in the shadows.
Next is Sienna Brown, PC945. Adding a little bit of texture here and there. Then a bit of beige sienna, PC1080. Just go over all the colors just to dampen them slightly, not too much, just here and there. Next is the terracotta again, just to bring back some of the colour. If you lose some, Thank you, Bata. Enjoy your class. Thank you for being here. I really appreciated it. Next is Moss Green, PC1097. Now here on the tip of the tail, yes Sonia you're quite right, Sherry did miss the beige sienna, I should have kept it till she was here watching. We're gonna use Hello Connie, welcome. Uh, next is Brown Umber PC nine four seven. I just want to darken here. So nice to see you here, Connie. little texture no not yet Kim you didn't miss the pencil count the pencil count will just will be right at the end
Next is light green, PC920. Then light amber, PC941. Then golden rod PC one zero three four. Yes, for those of you that came late, we are. I've got instead of a lucky number draw, we are doing a guess how many pencils I'm using tonight. And the one that guessed correctly can suggest any topic or thing for me to draw for a colouring page. And it will be an available in my Etsy shop. Or theme. Next, the light aqua again, be double nine two. I just want to darken it here and here. And slightly here. Next is grey green light, BC nine uh, two eight nine. Oh, thank you, Connie. Next is Sandbar Brown, PC1094. And White. PC 935 or 8 I think 938 I can't remember mine doesn't have a number on anymore mum you need to help here Nine three eight. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to carry on with the textures here in the middle. Hi, Michelle. Welcome. Uh, 
Next is Jade Green, PC1021. Oh, thank you, Michelle. Next is Dark Brown, PC946. So now I'm just adding a little bit of color to this section here before we can start with the shadow area. Next is Pumpkin Orange, PC1032. Thank you, Michelle. Next is Jasmine, PC1012. Next is the powder blue again, BC1087. Now I need to lighten it here before we start on this section. And slightly down here. Next is bronze, PC1028. Keeping the texture going. So if I try not to lose your texture, remember I said go in the direction and then go slight horizontal from there. Uh, next is a brown umber again, PC947. Next is Indigo Blue, PC901. So I'm using the Indigo Blue in the shadow area on this side because we will have a play of blues in this area.
Next is the espresso again. Keeping your textures going. So I'm just drawing in the details of the espresso. Then I'm going light green. PC920. And then the lime peel, PC1005. Next is Mineral Orange, PC1033. Then Chocolate, PC1082. Yes, unfortunately this turtle do have a lot of detail, but once you've done this section here with the skin, the rest is quite fun to do. It's bigger details, not so finicky. It's just these that will take a bit of your time. Next is the Jade Green again, PC1021. And just go over this whole area. You'll see I'm softening all the lines. And next is the Powder Blue, PC1087. Then the light green, PC920. Then the espresso again, PC1099. Oh, thank you, Pam.
Now the same on this side, but there will just be a different play of colors here. just need to oh thank you Nana uh, powder blue PC 1087 just a little bit of highlights here and there so that you don't lose your texture and it mustn't go flat so just to enhance your texture And the light green, PC920. Now the espresso, PC1099. Next is the light green, PC920. Then the light aqua. 992 Again, don't lose your details, just go in between where you've drawn your little texture. Then your lime peel, PC1005. Then yellow ochre, PC942. Then 30% warm grey, PC1052. So the reason why I'm um, Baba Helen, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Now the reason for the warm grey is to push the colours back. So that's why we use greys. Now the warm grey has got a greenish tinge to it. So warm 30% warm grey, PC1052. And I'm adding it here, so it will push back between all the all the uh, bright colors. Greeny, bluey tinge to it. Next is the espresso again. 
PC one zero double nine. And I'm just going over the textures again that we don't want to lose it. Next is the light green, PC920. I would use the French grey sherry. The French grey will go well with the orange. The orange, um, it depends on what orange though, but the French grey has got more of a browny tinge to it, so it will shade it perfectly and push it back. Next is grey green light. Oh no, sorry, uh, pale sage, PC1089. So I'm just lightening it here around the legs. And I think that's it for tonight. We will carry on with part two on next Wednesday. And I hope to see all of you here. So let me just zoom out of it. So, Mum, how many pencils did I use and who was the closest? Let's find out. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. Next week we will finish the turtle and move over to the water. Nana and Helen we're both spot on. Congratulations, Nana. You can appear me. And you can suggest the uh, page that I will draw. And it will be available in my Etsy shop. And I'll contact Helen and just tell her. Well done, Nana and Helen. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you, Mom, for being my mod. I really appreciated each and every one that came to watch the stream. Bye-bye, everyone, and I hope to see you all next week for part two. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Bye-bye.